Hey, Beelzebub, got a second? I heard something concerning. Is it at least interesting? Well, I suppose you demons might find it interesting. We humans would just find it terrifying. So what is it? Apparently a monster appeared near the Rahway ruins. So it's not a demon? I honestly don't know. It's got two legs and looks like a bug. Isn't that an insect man? I don't know what that is. All I know is that it was pink. Then I guess it isn't an insect man. From what I've heard, it's incredibly strong. Then maybe it's an insect man after all. Even I had a hard time with one. If so, it's dangerous. It'll attack anyone who gets close. Really? I heard it isn't always hostile. I'm leaning toward it not being one again, then. And apparently its call sounds something like... Cree cree cree! That's definitely an insect man! We can't just let that thing wander around. It would be great if you could go investigate. If it's dangerous, I'll raise money and put out a bounty. Now we're talking. Let's go pay our little friend a visit. Like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! Well, so it goes. Run into enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first step. Sorry, I can't help right now. to enemies in the desert. Taking a head count is a good first step. Can't we just pick them off one by one? If there are only a few, sure. But with large groups, you risk getting surrounded. Ha. Sounds more complicated than I thought. you do if you ran into a tough enemy? Let's see. Well, I'd start by observing them carefully. 
Knowing what they can do and what their weaknesses are will help you fight effectively. Nerve them, huh? I'll try that next time. Whoop! Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Do be careful, Prince. can't come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Civilization truly made the world smaller. In more ways than one. I'm not that noble. Only death awaits us if we don't help each other. Ah, uh, I guess. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. It's such a waste to let bot parts just rust away, too. Got it. I'll give them a look.
got a question. Why can humans eat some plants, but not others? Our bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. How do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for true evil. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, and Thief even stole someone's comic the other day. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. See, you're evil, right? Sand Cascade lies not far to the west of here. It's a sight to behold. Definitely worth a look while we're in the area. Ooh, I want to see it. Might as well while we're here. Smells like treasure. Don't let your guard down. to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. Reviewing your bot setup helps too. And if we can find some loot as a result, even better. We can use this to find out about the area. If we can get it fixed up, that is. We can repair it, just need materials.
We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there. Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. Whoop! It really is an insect man. Is it trying to say something? It sounds like it's suffering. Hey, do you understand me? I don't think it appreciates our attempted empathy. Fine. If it's violence it wants, that's what it'll get. How'd you like that? Had enough already? That's enough, Irio. You guys, too. Have you calmed down a bit, Irio? Thank goodness. I'm sorry all of you had to go through that. You... you're a peachy, aren't you? I am. My name is Nitok, and this here insect man is called Irio. Could you tell us how you two came to be on such friendly terms? We came to investigate whether he posed a danger. Understood. Allow me to explain. The two of us have been living nearby. After the Peachy Village was destroyed, I wandered all over Sandland and came across Irio during my travels. It must have been over ten years since we met by now. What? So there were others who survived the explosion? Others? There are other Peachy living at the legendary spring. Huh. There are others alive? I'd thought that I was all alone. We'll take you to them once we're done here. But for now, tell us about this insect man. Uh, right. Irio is an insect man prototype created by the Royal Army. It wasn't sufficiently vicious for the army's liking, so they attempted to dispose of it. But thanks to its incredible vitality, it managed to cling on to life. Why live together? It's clearly still a major threat. It saved me when I was attacked by a queen scorpion. Though to be fair, I think it was a millimeter from turning on me afterward. But in the end, Irio restrained itself from attacking me. That's when I realized that its aggressive tendencies may not be a natural feature of its biology, but rather something forcibly implanted into it. The poor thing was being made to fight against its will. That certainly is a plausible theory. So, it's been my goal to create a medicine that suppresses its urges. I was lonely, and I wanted to repay Irio for saving me. Did you manage to make the medicine? I'm afraid not. There is one ingredient I can't seem to find. What is it? The nectar of a soldier bee. They don't appear to live nearby. Leave it to me. Are you certain? Irio did attack you, after all. I know what it's like to want to repay a debt. 
though in my case, I suppose it's more like atoning for my sins. Prince. You don't need to ask every time. If you go, I go. Thank you. Please bring me that last ingredient then. Did you gather what I asked for? Thank you so much. I'll start making the medicine right away. How do you feel, Irio? It doesn't look like it's suffering anymore. Thank the stars. It looks like we succeeded. Right on. Should we head to the legendary spring now? Oh, uh, actually, about that, I've decided not to go. If I bring Aria with me, I will surely frighten the others. And I do not wish to inflict further fear upon my people. I understand. So what will you do now? Irio and I will live a quiet life somewhere out there. But now that it doesn't fight, it can't protect you anymore. That's a good point. I'm no good at fighting. Then you should go to Spino. To a human settlement? But I have Irio with me. I think they'd be okay with it. Right, old man? I agree. I'll explain the situation to Mayor Tor. Th thank you so much. Doesn't that sound great, Irio? Thank you for everything you've done for me, everyone. I'll see you again in Spino. Hello, people of Spino. Please treat Irio and me well. from forest land we had agreed that we'd meet up but the last time i heard from her was a letter she sent from sujeta camp just been total radio silence ever since that is pretty worrying but she's a famous materials processor so she probably got an urgent order she had to fill or something i hope i think she'd let you know if that were the case true which means something must have happened to her, huh? Hey, Bielz, how about we go looking for her? Come on, do we have to? Why not? She's a famous materials processor, remember? If things work out, this place's lineup might expand, you know? Wait, for real? Beluga and I were gonna share notes, so yeah. I should be able to pick up a thing or two. I guess that makes it worth the trouble. That's the spirit. Good luck with the search.
puke. I'll be there soon. Hey, isn't that Beluga? Let's follow her. Something's been on my mind for a while. Don't you get bitten by insects dressed like that? Yeah, I do. No? Er, nothing. Doesn't bother you, then never mind. I, for one, have been using insect repellent. Forestland army's no joke, down to the lowest grunt. Their soldiers must undergo extensive training. Though I'd argue that for the most part, the Royal Army is just too complacent. There are ruins in Forest Land too, are there? Then we've gotta go check them out! Sure, but be careful. Dangerous creatures have a habit of making their homes there. Forest lands crisscrossed all over with rivers. The hovercraft's gonna come in handy to cross them. Just remember there's some scary beasts in them. Be sure to watch out for them while crossing. Are you Beluga? Huh? Yes, I am, but... The heck you doing out here? Shouldn't you be in Spino? Wait, how did you... Never mind. 
Now's not the time. I have to go pick up Kuke, my daughter. I'm going to guess you don't mean from a friend's house. We were attacked by a monster in the misty plains up ahead. I knew there was no way we would both escape. So I hid my daughter in a cave and drew its attention away. I somehow managed to escape, but she's all alone in a cave somewhere. Somewhere? You mean you don't know where it is? The mist was too thick, and it was all I could do to just stay alive. We'll find your daughter for you. It's too dangerous for you to go alone. Oh no. I couldn't possibly ask strangers to do such a thing. Listen, lady. Now is not the time to be polite. We're going, okay? Oh, okay. Don't worry. We promise we'll bring Cute back to you. Please, I beg you. Here we go. about this place is putting me on edge. Yeah, same here. Be prepared for a fight at any moment. If their alarm bells are ringing, you know it must be dangerous. I wish I was any good at sensing things like that, too. Looks like a decommissioned bot disposal site. So Forestland has junkyards too, huh? Forestland isn't all pristine nature, you know. I just hope there never comes a day when these sites crowd out all the beautiful scenery. Really? I actually like it better when things are a bit messy. Abandoned. The last thing the Forest Land Army wants is weapons making their way to the Resistance, after all. Here we go! Something's been on my mind for a while. Don't you get bitten by insects dressed like that? Yeah, I do. So? Er, nothing. If it doesn't bother you, then never mind. I, for one, have been using insect repellent. Ha 
Is this place a... a bot dump? I'd say so. There's junk as far as the eye can see. Tread carefully, Prince. Don't want the junk to topple on you. wants his weapons making their way to the resistance after all. Wannabe junkers come here too? It's a mountain of gold to them. Expect them to defend it. Gotta be careful, I know. Arslan soldiers are pretty tough. I bet they train on the assumption that war could break out at any moment. That mindset alone might explain the difference in strength between them and the Royal Army. do it in a hovercraft. It'd break down before long, and you'd be stranded. I'd do a lot for you, but heading after you to fix it isn't on that list. <laughs> Maybe let's ditch that idea. Beluga said she had puke inside some cave or another, right? Right. Let's search every cave we see. Visibility's poor. Watch out for an ambush. Hello? Human! Come out so we don't have to go in there! 
Oh, that'll make her real eager to come out. Whatever. She's probably not here anyway. Abilities poor. Watch out for an ambush. of us. Not here. Stay close. Want to hold hands? Very funny, thief. That frog was hiding these ruins. No kidding. Couldn't see them until they were in front of our noses. It doesn't look like the fog has managed to seep inside of them. If it had, even Prince would have to give up on explore. Uh, no, scratch that. Mm, she doesn't seem to be here. Yeah. No, it's human. There's always a chance. We should check. Yeah. 
These ruins remind me of the ones we saw back in Sandland. Huh. Yeah, kinda. Do you think there could have been some sort of cultural connection? Those lands may actually have been one country back then. brave child. So, who are you? We're friends with your mom. Let's go back to her together. Okay. Mommy! Kuk! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. These people found me. Thank you so much. I swear I'll make it up to you. Meh, forget about that. You're heading to Spino, yeah? Right. That's my plan. We're friends with the local materials processor. Bielsa's is really eager for the shop's lineup to be expanded. Sharing your knowledge would be the best way to repay us. Understood. Then I will tell your friend everything I know. Let's be in our way, Kuke. You said thank you, right? Thank you! You're welcome. <sighs> Finally made it to Spino. Hmm. Now where's the workshop? Do you need anything? <laughs> 